Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Diseases COPD is the presence of shortness of breath from lung destruction decreasing the elastic recoil of the lungs. Most of the ability to exhale is from elastin fibers in the lungs passively allowing exhalation. This is lost in COPD, resulting in a decrease in FEV1 and FVC with an increase in the total lung capacity TLC. COPD is not always associated with reactive airway disease such as asthma, although both are obstructive diseases. Point to remember. If the case describes a patient who is young and a non-smoker, you should answer alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency as the most likely cause. E-T-I-O-L-O-G-Y-T-O-B-A-C-C-O smoking leads to almost all COPD. Tobacco destroys elastin fibers. Presentation, shortness of breath worsened by exertion, intermittent exacerbations with increased cough, sputum, and shortness of breath often brought on by infection, barrel chest, from increased air trapping, muscle wasting and cachexia. Diagnostic tests. The best initial test is chest x-ray, increased anterior-posterior, AP, diameter air trapping and flattened diaphragms. The most accurate diagnostic test is PFT, decreased FEV1, less than 80% predicted, decreased FVC, decreased FEV1, FVC ratio, under 70%. Increased TLC because of an increase in residual volume. Decreased DLCO, EMPHYSEMA, not chronic bronchitis. Incomplete improvement with albuterol. Little OR no worsening with methacholine. Reversibility with inhaled bronchodilators. Patients with COPD have a broad range of response to inhaled bronchodilators such as albuterol. This ranges from no reversibility to complete reversibility. About 50% will have some degree of response. Full reversibility in response to bronchodilators is defined as greater than 12% or 200 milliliters increase in FEV1. Arterial blood gas, ABG, acute exacerbations of COPD are associated with increased PCO2 and hypoxia. Respiratory acidosis may be present if there is insufficient metabolic compensation and the bicarbonate level will be elevated to compensate. In between exacerbation, not all those with COPD will retain CO2. CBC may have an increase in hematocrit from chronic hypoxia. EKG, right atrial hypertrophy and right ventricular hypertrophy atrial fibrillation or multifocal atrial tachycardia, MAT. Echocardiography, right atrial and right ventricular hypertrophy pulmonary hypertension. Treatment. Improves mortality and delays progression of disease, smoking cessation, oxygen therapy for those with PO2 is less than or equal to 55 or saturation is less than or equal to 88%. Mortality benefit is directly proportional to the number of hours that the oxygen is used. Influenza and pneumococcal vaccinations. Definitely improves symptoms but does not decrease disease progression or mortality. Short-acting beta agonists, e.g., albuterol. Anticholinergic agents, teotropium, ipratropium, acladinium, umacladinium, glycopyrrolate, steroids. Long-acting beta agonists, e.g., salmeterol, formoterol, olodaterol, pulmonary rehabilitation. Inhaled anticholinergic agents are most effective in COPD. Iprotropium is the only one used in acute exacerbation. When all medical therapy is insufficient, refer for transplantation. Choose theophylline or roflumolast if the case describes a person on a SABA, LABA, LAMA, and inhaled steroids and you want to try something to keep them off long-term oral steroids. Treatment of acute exacerbations of chronic bronchitis. The management of acute episodes of increased shortness of breath is similar to the treatment of acute asthma exacerbations.
The use of bronchodilators and corticosteroid therapy is combined with antibiotics. Iprotropium is the only anticholinergic agent used acutely. Most effective although viruses cause 20% to 50% of episodes, coverage should be provided against Streptococcus pneumoniae, H. influenza, and Moraxella cataralis. Macrolides, azithromycin, clarithromycin cephalosporins, cefuroxine, kevahame, cefaclor, ceftibutin amoxicillin, clavulinic acid quinolones, levofloxacin, moxifloxacin, gemifloxacin. Second-line agents doxycycline trimethoprim, sulfamethoxazole. Criteria for oxygen use in COPD oxygen decreases mortality. Criteria are PO2 below 55 mm Hg or oxygen saturation below 88% OR. If there are signs of right-sided heart disease, failure or an elevated hematocrit, PO2 less than 60 mm Hg or oxygen saturation below 90%. Although the hypoxic drive elimination concept is not correct, you would still avoid reflexively placing a patient with COPD on a very high flow 100% non rebreather mask. Use only as much oxygen as is necessary to raise the PO2 above 90% saturation. Never use Labus alone, always combine with inhaled steroids. Iprotropium is the anti-muscarinic antagonist for acute exacerbations of asthma and COPD. Lung volume reduction surgery helps some patients with severe disease and large bullying.